Okay, so this is where we are at the moment. We've got the um, the back of the uh, um, head structure together. Next pieces to go on are the. I'll just take these apart again. You can see how this all assembles. We've got these three pieces. So that'll clip in there. That clips on there. You might have to just um, ease them in with a just to file them in so they, they uh, seat in. A bit better. Obviously, they're going to be glued, but uh, just for an assembly point of view at the moment. You can see that's going. That's the the lower. That's the actual lifter for the jaw mechanism. This piece, which will screw on on there and move up and down. This whole head assembly will be sitting these bits sit inside they, they, they're screwing through that hole there so that's um, we'll, we'll assemble that in a second so you can see but uh, that will lift the uh, the jaw up to the uh, up to the mouth effectively and uh, get him to talk. So we'll, um, I'm going to assemble this on uh, and then uh, with, because the, the skulls in one piece is a bit harder to actually fit the, the sections but we'll take it apart bit by bit and add it to the, uh, the build as we go. So I'm just going to go off camera and just screw that together at the moment now. Okay so uh, you can see the, uh, the skull is taking shape. Um, I've just I've, Slightly countersunk those screws into sorry, get it in camera there, into the side there, but I'm going to glue that in anyway. But I'm just assembling with screws first, uh, just to get uh, a good grip on those. Uh, but you can see how it's all going to work now, because that obviously will <laughs> will go up and down as he chats and it rotates that way. So the next bit um, we can put in is the, there's, a, there's a piston goes in here off a, off a um, servo sits facing down driving a piston so that, that basically brings the jaw mechanism up and down so uh, that's the next bit we're going to do so um, we will continue. So there you can see the um, the, I put the original uh, pieces of the um, the the neck. That, that was the front uh, lifter piston. This came off my original limb move, and that's the back neck of the original limb move. I've just put the second servo in there. I've just realised I haven't actually. I don't think I've printed the actual uh, uh, piston that goes in there. Or I certainly can't find it. So I'm going to have to reprint that um, once my current print is finished, which you can just see is printing away there. That's the uh, that's part of my R2D2 project. That's uh, the the upper rings for the main body. But um, so the printer's just tied up for the minute. But uh, once I've finished that, I'll do the the quick print for these little servo sections. Um, but um, as I, said, I was just testing out to, to make sure I had all the parts anyway. So I've got I've still got these base pieces which I'm not going to use for my project but you can see how that goes together anyway. So what I'll do um, is I'll screw that in um, and then I'll put the skull on uh, because this is really basically a dry fit anyway. So um, we'll, uh, next thing is uh, I'll put the skull on now and we'll see how that goes. Okay this, so uh, I'll show you where I'm now. I've just uh, loosely uh, bolted this all together um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll take this top back off so you can see inside. These bits would sit. Let's take it apart. These bits would sit in there and that bit in there. So that that would be the whole skull, and then there's an ear section that goes in. But if we just take those off. I've just screwed that through just to hold it in place. So at the moment, we've got a couple of screws there locking off that back uh, self-taps. 
those self taps are into the into the skull at the top there. Um, inside, nothing's glued, so it's a bit loose. So I need to glue in the sections. But you can see um, how the how the dual mechanism will work on there. What is worth looking at is inside here. Let's get that in the right angle there. Uh, this was something I was found really confusing. Just in that bolt there, which are these pieces coming through here, screws into these these two front. Yeah, let's get you properly in the camera there. So you've got these two front pieces going in. They sort of sit in, they slot in just in there and they just push against that there's a little bit of plastic in there same in you can probably see it better on that side and they lock in uh, it is a very tight fit they are fiddly to, to put together that that section very fiddly to put together because the whole thing you've sort of got to compress um, and then you end up with I mean because I haven't got this lock glued in uh, these pieces glued together they, they keep popping out but uh, that that's how that goes in but also what you want to try and do is allow yourself because these these two screws here lock into as I say into that bar at the bottom taking them out you want to be able to take them out because it's nice to be able to take this whole section this whole eye section out um, here's my broken one uh, there which which was a misprint but if you can actually take the, the eye section out, you can, it's, it is a self-contained piece. So it's nice to be able to, um, you have to ease the top of the skull off to be able to release it. But it's, it's good to keep that, try and keep that separate because then you can get into the eyeballs and work on that bit as a separate section. But you obviously need to release these two and, and these two. Once you release those, it slightly loosens up this bottom so it's um, it's all a sort of a workaround what I'm going to do I think this time is, is actually glue this these bottom sections in because I haven't done it on my last in move and it's always, it's always a bit of a fiddle around the uh, around the eye section but I'm going to do a, a lot of on this one a lot of gluing so get in there and actually physically glue that to the, the the, the sides so these screws aren't holding that bit in they're more just holding this this face in but um, hopefully you can sort of get an idea you see it's coming out of my uh, so that's why I need to glue that together but that's that's the sort of the, the inner area as I say I've, I've uh, either lost or I need to reprint my uh, piston in there but um, that would then, and it and it does. It's not quite seating in there. Well done. Oh, actually, it is. No, it is. That is seating. Okay, I think I probably filed that down last time. So it will chat away. Certainly, once he's got the motors in, and obviously the eyeballs, which uh, which I haven't put in at all, um, and. Uh, As shown before, you've got that section in there, that section in there, and then these side bits go on, and then the ears, uh, the actual ear sections go in. In this one, I'm actually going to put loudspeakers in there because this is going to be uh, my music machine, if you see what I mean, so I can play back uh, Spotify and stuff through this. Um, if I can get, I'm probably actually going to make the, the ears really quite big, big chunky speakers sticking out of them. Um, but uh, it's coming together quite nicely actually um, and then um, I'm going to have the larger eyeball which I've got here which are these ones and I'll sort of do do that sort of thing inside there if I can actually get that in possibly Yeah, it's, it's gonna, and it's going to have uh, two cameras in it. I'm going to actually have USB cameras in this one. Um, I don't need two cameras, but I thought why not? Might as well. I'll get that out of here now. I'm going to have to take the whole thing. Yeah, will come out.
this this uh, one is a different eyeball set. Um, I think this is a combination of Bob Houston's and uh, can't remember actually. I will I will put a link on on the video. This is uh, printed this a while back, but. Um, It will have eyes going on, on like this. So this this is not this piece here is not Gail's original eye section. Uh, this is the modified one. So um, in fact, that will be the next thing I need to put together. So uh, that's it uh, until uh, for the moment, anyway. Well, I thought I'd show you. I just found the original set of ears I printed, um, which were the uh, which I printed um, well ages ago uh, for the. For the in-move, uh, which were the loudspeaker ears, uh, which is what I'm going to use again. Um, so I've just loosely just bolted all the uh, pieces together. I just also just to show you um, inside. Let's just get that in camera. Just in there. There's a sort of a, a, a lug, or well, there was a lug, I've just cut it off on both sides. You can just see the remains of it in, so I'll just get that in, in camera so it's not easy. It's just in there, um, which was, I, I, I never quite understand what it's meant to do. It's either meant to sit above that bit or underneath it to lock it in, or maybe it's just a, a bit of plastic support. I don't know, but I've cut it out because it's always been in the work. I think I cut it out on my previous one and then it all just sort of clips together a little bit easier. But um, obviously, I haven't put screws in, so it's all very uh, lightly screwed. Uh, you know, it's not totally screwed together. Um, but it, once once it is screwed together, it becomes really quite solid. This this whole unit. So all I've got to do on him now, as I say, is, is print uh, or find the the sections, the, the the small piston sections for the the jaw, which will sit inside, just inside there. Um, I don't know what I've done with that. I might not have printed them. Um, and um, build the eye the eye pieces, obviously, because that's that's not done at all. Put the eye sections together. But I'm just going to glue it as I was as I was mentioning, so I can just pull that whole section out and work on that separately. But um, you've got a bit of tape there because I was just holding the whole thing together with tape at one point. But he's quite it's a, quite a substantial. Quite a substantial head once it's all in there. Let's get that bolt out. It's just a final view of it. I'll put up some photos of this on the blog as well, some close-up photos, because I think photos tell everything. There's um, obviously screws to go through in there to line that up. So it's a, it's a very tight fit, um, but there's quite a bit of space in there, and that's where the eye mechanisms that the whole eye assembly will sit inside there. Okay, 